Hello there, this is Spencer from Buildapreneur, and I'm going to explain to you how the YouTube algorithm works. But better than that, I'm going to explain to you how you can make your videos so that no matter what updates YouTube makes, you still win. Coming right up. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. There's three things we'd like to talk about before we dive into the content of this video. We'll be quick. The first one is if you're interested in crushing it on YouTube, click subscribe down below. We put out a ton of videos on both how to crush it on YouTube and how to make money off of your channel. Second thing is, if you stay till the end, I promise you we're gonna give you a pretty cool little free training. I give you a free training on how I was able to get, um, basically make my full-time income and I won a couple cars to boot. Uh, all from my YouTube channel before I even hit 10,000 subscribers. So that free training, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about at the end. The last thing is um, kind of a quick question. I want to know what you think before you watch this video, what you think the most important part of the YouTube algorithm is. Okay, like what does YouTube care about the most? Okay, so comment that down below. Now let's dive in and talk about exactly how the YouTube algorithm works and more importantly, how you can make your videos so that it doesn't really matter when YouTube shoots out these updates, right? Because they do updates all the time. They uh, you know, they're updating like every couple months with these big updates and you'll see some YouTube channels freak out and some YouTube owners freak out about this and that and same thing on Google. Um, but we want to build our, our channel in such a way, right, that even though YouTube makes updates, it doesn't really matter. It, if, if anything, it helps our channel, okay? And that's what we're going to talk about here. And and the reason for that is, we, um, <clears throat> is we're doing what YouTube wants, okay? If you build your channel in a way that YouTube likes and YouTube wants, well, then the updates are just going to help you, right? Because YouTube... YouTube knows exactly what it wants. It's just updating its algorithm to basically hone in better on getting the results that it wants, okay? So what does YouTube want? Guys, YouTube wants money, okay? Let's, let, let's all be real here. YouTube wants money. It's a business. It's there to make money, to make profits. And the way it does that is by a mix of, of advertisers and users, right? But most importantly, all these social media platforms will say this, the most important thing to them is the user, okay? If the user is not having a good experience and the user is not staying on their platform and the user is not coming back day after day after day, YouTube is over and YouTube understands that. There will always be another advertiser, right? As long as you have an audience, there will always be another advertiser. So YouTube is all about the user, okay? The YouTube or the user having a good experience, okay? So what does that come down to? Well, it comes down to the idea that YouTube makes, let's say every like five minutes a user watches a video, YouTube makes five cents, right? Five minutes, five cents, so making up total random numbers here. But let's say those are the numbers. That means that YouTube wants users to one, watch more videos, right? Like when they when they sit down to watch YouTube videos, it wants them to stay on there for a longer amount of time in a single sitting. And then the second thing it wants is it wants people to come back day after day after day and continue watching YouTube videos and continue making YouTube money, right? And that makes total sense, right? There's not like a big problem with that, but that's how YouTube works. So let's dive in to how the algorithm is is doing that, how it's, how it's um, giving people the content they want in order to make sure that that happens. Um, and, I, and I break the YouTube algorithm into two parts. Okay, so we're gonna talk for like 30 seconds about the first part because it's so basic and it's what you're gonna see on a ton of other YouTube videos and it's annoying. And then we're gonna talk more deeply about like what really, really matters, okay? So the first thing is YouTube's algorithm has the first piece which basically is determining what the video is about, okay? So we, we need to be very careful to make sure YouTube always completely understands what our video is about, what it should rank for, right? Like this is a video, this is exactly what this video could potentially rank for, um, what, it, what it's about. Um, and you do that through the, the basic things that you're going to see on Tumblr Challenge. You're going to see people talking about descriptions and tags and your title and um, kind of more recently what you're saying, the words that are coming out of your mouth during the videos. YouTube is measuring those, right? And it's, it's, it can actually understand those words and it's saying, what is this video is about based on, based on what you're talking about? So you can, you can do all those and those are the basic things. Like every video needs to have that. It needs to have a very specific um, subject, right? And everything needs to be about that subject from your tags to your description to your title to the words you say in the video, okay? So very, very cohesive. You get that and now video says, okay, this video is about this. I know what this video is about. Now I'm not positive this should be the video that I show when people look for this and that I should recommend when people are watching other videos, but I do know what this video is about. So I, I know what I could recommend it for and what I could show it in, in the search engines for, right? And the next thing is like what I consider the most important. Um, I, I call it the non-basic crap. Yeah, I'm scrolling here. Sorry, I gotta pop open my notes and make sure I don't miss anything. Um, the second thing is, <laughs> is what people are doing with your video, right? Like what are users doing? Like how are users reacting to your video and that's where we kind of get into the more really really important stuff all right so a good example of that is are people clicking through a video right so if youtube actually shows your thumbnail right your little video as a recommended video or in a search engine 
Is it getting the expected click-through rate, right? Are, are, are people actually clicking and watching? Or is YouTube recommending your video and like 1% of people are looking at it and kind of going to the one beneath it or the one above it, right? And if YouTube gets that, it knows like, ah, they've got like a, they've got a thumbnail issue going on, right? Like people aren't, or a title issue. Like people aren't finding this video as, as enticing to watch. And so the first thing is, um, is that thumbnail? Like is your thumbnail and your title, is it an enticing title and is it an enticing thumbnail that actually gets people to click? Um, the next thing is, how long are people staying? Okay, so when someone hops into your video, are they hopping in, watching it for you know 20 seconds and then saying, ah, and clicking the back button? Because that is a huge indicator, right? Like your video will never rank if this is happening. Unless the video is just this tiny 20 second video that people actually want. Uh, but typically your video will never rank if people watch the video for a very small portion of the video and then they click the back button and go click the next video, right? Like YouTube measures that. It says, hey, they walked, they watched in, they started to watch the video, they clicked back before they really got anywhere and went to the next video. This video does not answer that question. It didn't provide value to that user, right? And YouTube's all about providing value to that end user. And so um, that's the next thing is how long do people stay? And the most important thing to this is are they getting what they expected, okay? Did your title tag and your thumbnail lead them correctly into the video and then did your video match that, okay? So there's that cohesion again. Did your video totally match what the title tag and the thumbnail told them? Um, and did you not, That the second thing is, did you not spend the first you know three minutes of your video talking about your channel and yourself and random things and getting kind of lost in things like that, right? Background or whatever, did you, did you, you know, take a, take a minute or 30 seconds to, to explain everything and then dive right into what they're looking for? The two very important things there, okay? So the next thing is, um, length of video. So some people say the length of video doesn't matter at all. I think it does matter. I personally believe it does matter and there's like data that shows that it does matter. I think the average YouTube video length is like 14 minutes. Um, so, so length does matter, but not to the point that you should put fluff in your video, if that makes sense, right? So so a lot of it is YouTube says, hey, someone watched this video. How long do they stay as a percentage of the video? Do they watch 90% of it? Well, then it's a pretty good video. Um, but the other half of it is if you if you upload a one minute video, right? YouTube's not gonna make much money off a one minute video. And typically, if someone's searching YouTube with questions and things like that, one minute's not um, long enough to be able to answer their question. So it's kind of like a double negative. So I think length of video is important. Like you want a, a good long video is very, very helpful to the user and it's helpful to YouTube who makes money um, and it makes sure that they get their questions answered, right? But you don't want to fill it with fluff. So whatever you, however long you need to and can do without being fluffy, okay? Um, so the next thing we've talked about like the length of the video and, and making sure the user stays to the end of the video. The way I do that is I offer something at the end. So if you listen to me at the beginning, I said, hey, I have a free training where I'm gonna show you how I won some cars and, and make a full-time income off YouTube before my channel hit 10,000. Hey, there's 10,000 subscribers, sorry. Hey, um, do you wanna stay till the end? I'm gonna show you how to get that, okay? And then I do it through cards. You'll see my card at the end of the video come out. And if you're not familiar with those, or end screen, sorry. End screen will pop out and it'll, it'll offer people to click over to uh, something free that I offered at the beginning and, and, and to keep people staying, right? Third thing, did people subscribe after watching the video? Okay, so YouTube says, hey, if someone watched this video and then they, you know, they went down and they clicked subscribe after watching it, like that's a huge indicator, right? Like they liked that video, they liked that channel, and there's something they liked, they had a good experience, okay? You typically don't have a bad experience on a video and then go click the subscribe at the end. So YouTube says, okay, that's a pretty sure thing that that video, you know, was, was good and, and provided value to that user. And the way, the way we get that is we ask people for subscribers. You saw me at the beginning ask. I'm gonna ask you at the end. I'm gonna ask you right now. Can you subscribe to my video, okay? So we get people to subscribe by simply asking people to subscribe. Um, it sounds crazy, but I, if you go look at a lot of my beginning videos, I don't, and I can tell you the data is almost double, almost double um, the subscribers when I simply ask people to subscribe and tell them why, right? So I told you, hey, if you wanna do well on YouTube, you should subscribe because I put out a lot of YouTube videos, okay? So you tell them why and then you ask them to subscribe. My good videos, like my best videos, are getting like a 10% subscribe rate. 10% of the people that watch it actually click subscribe, which is like really, really high. And that's like one, by my best videos, I mean my best video. But uh, my, 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 my worst videos get like a 0.05 or less um, subscription rate of people watching and then subscribing. So there's a, there's a huge range there, right? Um, but the 0 0.05 ones typically I don't ask, and that would explain why. And the fourth thing is engagement, okay? So YouTube's got all those little things, right? When you're watching, people can click thumbs up, people can click... Um, they can comment, people can, um, I think you can like embed and share. There's a lot of like little options you have, favorites and things like that, save to your own playlist. There's a lot of things you can do with that video, right? And typically if someone likes the video, they, they'll give it a thumbs up or if someone doesn't like the video, they'll give it a thumbs down. That's a big indicator. That's uh, like a medium indicator. But they'll give it a thumbs up and then, um, or, and, and then they'll comment. When people leave comments, well, some comments are pretty terrible, but, but typically if someone's engaging, then they're enjoying the YouTube experience, right? Whether their comments are rude and obnoxious or not. Um, they're they're enjoying their YouTube experience 
sometimes at that point. Uh, anyway, engagement in general, YouTube likes to see engagement. They like to see people engaging with their platform, right? And that's the way all social media platforms are. So guess what? Same way with all, same thing as we've been doing with all these other things. We ask, you saw at the beginning, I asked a question. I'm going to ask now, hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, we just ask people for these things. So the key in all these is you've got to ask. Um, people don't often think about things like this when you ask for it, like, and they feel like they've gotten value from you. They're happy to provide it. And fifth, the last thing is appealing to YouTube's wanting more people coming to YouTube from other platforms, right? So you might've heard that Facebook actually doesn't, it like purposely deranks content that sends people away from Facebook. Well, YouTube actually ranks content that sends people to YouTube, right? So if, if your content gets a lot of shares, a lot of people are watching your YouTube video and then sharing it on Facebook, which is then getting more people to watch it on Facebook and then leave Facebook and come to YouTube, right? Now, Facebook's not making the money, YouTube is, or they're putting it, they're embedding it in their blog, which means people are reading on a Google blog and then they're clicking into YouTube and YouTube's making money off that, right? So they're doing things like that, like sharing or embedding it in their blog. YouTube likes that, like that, that's a good sign. They're sending people to YouTube. YouTube's making money, right? This is YouTube's goal to make money here. It's getting more users and they're staying for longer. Um, so so you, the way to do that is just to do it, on, like the, in the beginning, it's just your own stuff, right? Your own blog, your own um, Facebook, page and things like that and I'll use I'll often boost I'll do a little five dollar boost on mine to get a little bit of traffic coming from my Facebook page um, but but in the beginning that's all you've got to do like you'll you'll actually get boosts from your own blog your own Facebook page your own Twitter profile right and maybe you'll get lucky and people will actually like it and you'll share it a few times and, and Facebook and YouTube will say hey you know this this video got shared 10 times on Facebook like that's awesome and it got engaged a bunch of times and, and it sent over 200 people from Facebook over to YouTube and we made some money off that um, and and some users were happy off that right so so that, that's that's the five things that I, I say in terms of engagement. Let me go over those again with my notes here. Um, the first is you just got to make sure YouTube understands title tag, um, cohesion with thumbnail, with description, with, with tags and everything like that. The next thing is, are people seeing your video and are they staying for a long time when they stay? Are they staying for a good percentage of your video, which indicates to YouTube that it's a good video? Third thing, are they subscribing? Are they, are they actually clicking subscribe when you ask them to? Um, because that's a, a good indicator to YouTube. Fourth thing, are they engaging in all your content? Are you asking? And then the fifth thing is, are they taking your content and spreading it out there? Because hopefully that means they liked it and they're not like virally hating on it or something like that, which happens as well. Um, but those are those are the five things that I consider most important to the YouTube algorithm. And I didn't go into like super specifics because those five things, like if your videos do that, then it doesn't matter what updates YouTube makes. Your videos are going to do well because you're you're providing value to YouTube's end users and YouTube is happy with that, okay? So it all comes down to asking. All these things come down to, to, to you asking. And obviously in the beginning, it's a little harder. You might not have anybody watching your video, which makes it a little harder. But I promise you, as you consistently put out videos like this, you'll start to see like one random video out of 10 or one random video out of 20, you'll start to get show up and rank for things. And if your video is built in the right way, it'll stay there and it'll continue to rank and then you'll be able to get more subscribers and more good things happening with some of your other videos. And the, you know, the, the ship kind of rises with the tide or however that quote goes. Anyway, I told you I'd, if you stay till the end that somewhere, either here or here, I'm gonna give you a free training on how I was able to make a full-time income and win some cards on my YouTube channel. Go ahead and click that. And remember, take life by the horns.